is relatively new in the Philippines, with the SEC just approving the first crowdfunding platform in January last year. By definition, crowdfunding uses small amounts of capital from a large number of investors to finance new business ventures. Crowdfunding is becoming more popular globally because it addresses the unmet needs of both small investors and businesses, including startups. For example, high returns provided by private equity companies or venture capital firms are not available to small investors because of the large amount of capital required to participate in these investments. Meanwhile, small businesses and startups usually cannot access banks and capital markets for their funding needs because of their small size, absence of track record, and numerous documentary requirements. However, because of crowdfunding, small investors can enjoy the high returns big investors get from private equity and venture capital firms. While startups with good ideas can access capital to grow their businesses, even if entrepreneurs have little funds. Crowdfunding also gives startups the advantage of raising money without giving up control, which is what a lot of big investors require before they invest in a business. However, it is important to point out that investors who fund businesses in crowdfunding platforms also face risks. For example, although investors could more than double their money by investing in a startup that eventually gets listed in the stock exchange or gets bought out by a big multinational company, they could also potentially lose big since many startups fail to succeed. To manage risk, investors who participate in crowdfunding must do their due diligence. Investors must also diversify or invest in many companies instead of just one and limit the size of their investments to only a small portion of their total portfolio. Although crowdfunding is only new in the Philippines, it is a space worth watching given its potential to help exciting new businesses succeed in the next few years.